Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about system or the service user and we'll also see how to get resources over using this system or service user. So basically the system or the service user are a specific kind of users present in AEM which perform their operations with least permissions or the minimum permissions for a particular bundle. For particular bundle means for the bundle which they are mapped to. Okay, basically this definition has two to three points. First is a uh, they have specific kind of users which with which you cannot log into AM normal login like uh, we do for our own users okay and they have minimum permissions means that they have only the permission by which they can perform their operations and they are always mapped to a particular bundle okay so let's let's take an example I have a resource and I want to update that resource uh, using that code suppose I want to add one particular property so that addition of that property that task will be performed by a service user which which is mapped to my bundle okay if you're not understanding don't worry we will have a you know detailed explanation and a demo as well by end of this tutorial you will understand this okay so what is the need of this system or service user to understand this you have to go back in 6.0 when the am 6.0 was there at that time whenever you want to update any content or any any you know resource using code there were two operations to get resources over or session uh, using repository you could get uh, administrative session or administrative resources over there were some variation of these methods but they they two were the main methods right uh, so by using this resource resolver or the session has the administrative permission that means the whole repository access that was breaking the you know principle of least privileges means uh, if you you have this resource resolver or this session you could update whole repository because you had all the permissions all the uh, you know access so to uh, to to for this to resolve this kind of issue am came up with this concept of system users and the or the service user with in 6.1 okay so we'll see how how you can create system user how you can map those system user to a particular bundle and then we'll see how to get resource resolver using that system you know this system user okay so there there is three steps in the whole process first step is you have to create a system user so there is a two ways of doing it one is a plain vanilla way when you have only your am with default code okay so what you can do there is a ui provided by am we used to call it repository explorer by which you can create a system user and you can assign a permissions second and easy way is if you are using acs commands what we are using in our demo project and almost all the clients are using this demo uh, acs commons there is a service called acs insured uh, insured service user you just need to create a configuration osgn configuration with the permission and you are done okay so we'll i'll show you the first as well and we'll use the second one to create this user once you have this user then you have to map this user to your particular bundle so that only the task related to those that bundle you can perform those okay so for that uh, there is only one service available apache sling service user mapper service uh, either way you create user but you have to map this user to your bundle now you are done these are the one time activity okay so once this is done now you have to get resource resolver to write that resource resolver uh, get resource you have to write code so either every time you can write that code or you can write a function it's up to you it's always a good idea to have a function so using that function every time you will call that function and you will get resource resolver using that user uh, so basically there the two type of task you need to understand here is one is this is the one time task you will create a user and you will assign that user service system user to a particular bundle and then this is the task you will be performing every time like from that uh, user you will be getting resources over whenever you need it okay so let, let's take it let's understand you know let's let me show you a demo of how to create user using explorer and using this uh, acs common service so this is the repository explorer available this is the same path almost same path where we have crxd only you need to replace explorer with de okay then there is an option called 
user administration go to that and there is a option fourth option available called create system user by which you can just define id like a system uh, so you will be uh, creating user from here and you have to make sure two things here this can be created under systems you can give the relative path or a complete path right i'll show you where it is and when you come here they, there is a login option available here right you have to login using admin only then you will be able to create otherwise you might get errors like permissions issue okay so when you create this just click this green button and your user is done now you can you know apply permissions to that so for that either you can go to the touch ui or classic ui go to the user admin user admin and search for that user i missed that what user we created in geeks test i guess yes this was the user we created so this user has been created now right we created from there and you can assign the minimum permissions whatever you need like if you are you need permission to my only this site so you can assign the permission of this way and you are done uh, so what you need to take care of it all the system users should be under this system folder and you have to assign a, you know system relative path or a complete path but that should be under system okay that's the one way of doing it second way and easy way of doing it just go to that configurations there is a configuration and search for uh, insure service okay this is the insure service user this is a factory configuration so what you can do you can create one more and you can add here uh, insure and here okay you can create user whatever your name of user is you can create if you give like this uh, let me show you am geeks slash uh, like am geeks slash the username okay so this will first one will be a folder am geeks it will create a folder am geeks and inside that it will create a user called uh, this geeks hyphen service hyphen user and this way you can add permissions to this right it's a self-explanatory let me explain a bit let me zoom it a bit if i can okay it's too much let me show it okay so it's a type type is equal to allow what kind of permission it is and then privileges jcr read okay for what read in jcr all means i'm giving the permission for all jcr read like admin i'm creating a you know for a particular path and rep write and what is the where i'm giving this permission to this content am geeks means i'm giving the permission to my site for complete reading and writing to this user so that way i'm next way i'm giving the permission to dam and then template to read template and i'm giving the code as well you should you know basically this is that you know demo user so i gave a lot of permission you can give accordingly okay So when you save it, it will create a user for you, okay? And user with these permissions. Okay, so let me re verify. So I came to AM Geeks. Inside that, it created my user, right? I created this user for now, okay? So let's let's check how you can map that user to a particular bundle. For that, there is a uh, configuration available. Apache Sling Mapper. Mapper. This one. Uh, the second one service amendment okay so for that this is also a uh, factory configuration factory configuration means you can create more than one configuration so you just need to create one survey this one configuration here and you need to add your bundle and you need to define let me show you so what i have to do this is a three part of this right first part is my bundle id what is my bundle id if you are not sure you have to go back and check your bundle let me go back what are bundle and you see the symbolic name by which on front of that you will find this am.core this is basically you can use here so this is my bundle and this is the user let me zoom a bit this one so this is basically 
the name I am using, I will be use this name for getting resources over. Okay. This one. This one. Okay. And this one, this this is my user. What we created. Okay. So basically these things are important. It there is a colon in between and before user there is a equal sign right so you can use either id or the principal here but whatever is there they they see both are same for our case okay so you can use basically the user okay so now you're done with the mapping now you have to get resource resolver from that service user okay so basically you can write that code every time whenever you need it or you can write a function so it is completely up to you so what i did i created a final class inside that final class i created a static method okay so the important part of this is this first you have to create a hash map with string a key and object value inside that in this hash map you have to insert this service user this is static this is constant basically and this is the name this is our name what we use there you remember this is the thing we used let me show you one more time this we gave here in our mapping okay and when you added this you have to get a uh, resource resolver factory from that resource resolver factory you can get a get service resource resolver by passing that hash map and you are done right you you got the resource resolver now this resource resolver you can adapt to whatever you want like page manager or anything so basically important part is these three lines of code it's not necessary when you call this method you have to pass the resources on factory you can write here as well it's completely up to you basically the important part is these three lines let me show you like these three lines one first you have to get hash map and from the hash map inside that you have to put service subservice this is a constant and inside subservice you have to give the name of what you declare at that place while mapping and then from resources all factory you can get resources all by passing this hash map and you are done so whenever you need it whenever you use it you just need to call this methods and you will get a resource resolver with the permission what we assign to this user while creating this user okay so if you you want to perform a task or operation beyond that permission this user will not perform and this user will perform only tasks related to your bundle not other bundle okay okay so let me show you how we will call that so my class name is resolver utils and method name is new resolver so whenever i need it i just get this resolve resolver util and from that because this is static method i'll create new resolver by passing resource resolver factory okay i use this i got this resource resolver factory using reference you can completely get it here itself and get it from here in that case you do not need to pass it, it it's up to you you just need three lines of code that's it so that way you can get it uh, this uh, so you must have a question now every time on each instance you have to create these system users whenever your instance changes so answer is yes or no both if you are creating system user using the out of box explorer repository explorer then you have to create system user on your all environments or either you have to you know uh, for these user I have to you know you have to move this user from one instance to other instance if you are creating the system users through the ACS commons then you you have to create only a configuration and you can deploy this configuration with your code base so whenever this configuration will deploy using your code in your instance that user will be created itself you do not need to create user manually so that's why I said use ACS common service to create user.